Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do just a general read. We're going to clarify. We're going to do regular tarot, and we're going to clarify with the opposition tarot. And then after that, if I feel the need to pull another card deck, I will, and I'll let you know which card deck that is. Um, also, do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on it, yellow hearts. If you rock with me, got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. Now, yeah, that's where we are. Unsure energy here coming out. The cards are going to come over. Um, well, I said that, but that didn't mean <laughs> they did. But they normally come over turned face down. So that is a good thing. So we can see what this read will be about. But so far, you're unsure about somebody uh, stabbing you in the back or how you should feel in regards to a situation um, you know, there's some type of misfortune or some type of energy where you feel like, you know, somebody can't be trusted. That's kind of how I see that. But basically what you're doing is you're looking at things in a different light to try to see what is going on. And that's why you're questioning this. The two cards, chariot energy moving forward. You're questioning whether you should move forward or not. And then also seven of pentacles, seven years you've been, uh, contemplating certain situations about moving forward because this is the energy that presents itself to me you being unsure if you should trust a person place thing or situation yeah empress um you're unsure if somebody sees uh what you bring to the table or what you can offer or what not offer um your abilities somebody is doubting your abilities that's what it kind of seems like yeah there has been some type of struggle five of wands and the burdens and whoa and the insight and knowledge to know what's causing you to be sadness, sadness, to be sad. However, the sun card is here is telling me that you need to move forward and stop doubting yourself and letting people doubt your abilities to be who you are. You've planted the seed a long time ago. So five years you struggled, five years it probably took for you to really just open your eyes and see what it is that you're going through. And then with the chariot being here, knowing that you need to move forward, but you know, trying to be patient and wait out a situation to where you can see a better or you see the potential, but uh, waiting it out to see if somebody is ever going to uh, really see what you bring to the table or the beauty in you, or if they're going to constantly make you feel like you have to doubt a situation. Let's clarify this Empress energy. And this could be the person that you're dealing with. This could be in regards to a job. This could be in regards to just family members, but you take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, we're clarifying the empress because it's unsure. You're unsure what you or how somebody sees you. You're unsure about why they feel this way and why it's so much struggle when it comes to dealing with this person and or situation. And so therefore, when you question this energy, you're just like, it doesn't make me feel good to not be able to trust you or to feel like you are stabbing me in my back or you don't have my best interest. So Therefore, what you're going to do is you're going to look and really look at the struggles, the burdens, and know what's causing you sadness, and you're going to move forward. You're going to move forward and grow. So the Empress energy is here. We're going to clarify the Empress energy. If the uh, Empress energy comes out with the Seven of Swords, again, there is some type of insecurities. There is, you're, you're like holding your guard up, you know, with the Seven of Swords being here. You're holding your guard up. You're not uh, laying your swords down you're just basically looking at all the adversity and so therefore with the swords being there you're not sure if this person will ever see what it is that you see in them or reciprocate the energies that you desire or that you need the ten of swords energy comes out with the eight of pentacles yeah so you decided that you have to work on yourself and yes while you wait on the seeds to happen or seeds to plant so we have five seven and eight when it comes to dealing with the pinnacles so eight years seven years five years you realize this five within five years of dealing with the situation but the seventh year you said okay i'm going to work on myself nothing is what it seems there's going to be rough drafts there's going to be all of these different things but i'm not going to doubt myself and i'm going to see things for what they really are and go from there but you know when it comes to why you can't trust this situation it's because you already know and it's sad and it's hurtful and you really just don't want to walk away ace of pentacles but you have to have the confidence and be able to start over every time you get to dealing with this this is eight 
plus seven, it could be seven, eight years, seven, and then, you know, you planted the seeds, you started really just working on yourself, or this could be 15 years of going through a process of understanding that this person is going to always be who they're going to be. And the only thing you can do is change yourself and not them. So the five of pentacles is what we're clarifying when it comes to this situation. Yes, yeah, strength. You have to recognize your strength. You starved when it came to dealing with this situation or this person or being at adversity. And so now you're not afraid to put your hands in the lion's mouth, if that makes sense, because that's basically what she's doing. You're not starving yourself anymore. There's no struggle here anymore. And so basically what you're doing, because this is struggle, so you're not afraid to deal with adversity anymore or to actually stand up for yourself because five years it took for you to really look seven years, eight years to work on yourself. And now you're just like, nope, okay, this is what it is. But before you struggled, you know, you were hungry, you were starving, the struggle, right? And so now you recognize the burdens for what they are, right? And therefore with the 10 of uh, wands energy, um, you had to understand that, you know what? Can't nobody fix anything but yourself. And that's you, the queen of cups energy. You're not going to let anything stop you. You're not going to let anything um, you know, you're going to look and see what it is, but instead of you drinking for your, from your own cup, you were waiting for someone to really see you for who you were. This is how you were before you realized the burdens. Does that make sense? And once you realize the burdens, it'll all turn back around and you'll start to drink from your own cup and stop, you know, giving everybody or feeding everybody. You know, it's like, you know, I always have it. But at the same time, I'm waiting for to share it with a person, place, thing, or a situation. But, you know, oh, sorry. That is where the burdens lie when it comes to this situation. The Five of Cups energy is here. And so with the Five of Cups energy, ooh, the card did not turn over. With the Five of Cups energy, yeah, look at that. You have the Five of Cups here. So we have the Five of Cups twice clarifying the Five of Cups. See, when you were in... um you know, in denial, you know, you were happy. You were like, he loves me, he loves me not, or I'm going to make it through. And then also when you realize that, you know, you were waiting for this person, you were willing to wait, you were willing to wait for this person to change, to understand. But now that you have the insight and knowledge to know what's causing you sadness, five of cups, clarifying the five of cups, you're not sad anymore. You know, you're not, you know, you're not in a point to where you know what's going on. And now here it is, you're happy and realizing that there was lessons out of this and that caused growth. Does that make sense? And so the sun energy comes out with unsure queen of pentacles. So the queen of pentacles, you're unsure if you should still nurture this situation. And that is where this person is looking at you like, okay, they're not nurturing me. They're not doing anything. They're moving forward when I thought that it would always be this person would be here for me. And all what's happening is that you are not working with them. Their stuff is falling apart and you realize what it is. So the queen of pentacles energy, you know, uh, like JDS Terrell says, the queen of pentacles can be toxic to herself. And there was also a um, wording that I, when I was studying tarot, um, they say the queen of pentacles is a loving family. One of the greatest blessings in life, protect and care for them no matter what. That no matter what is a big thing when it comes to us seeing potential and people who we think should go the long distance with us or go the distance with us. And when we wait, so this person is looking at you like, where's, where's cancer? But you've grown from this situation. Let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles comes with the Nine of Wands. You recognize the burdens and you recognize, you know, that you had to protect yourself. And so here it is. They're looking at it like cancer had their guard down and now here it is, cancers protecting themselves and not nurturing my situation anymore or a situation, whether again, it be work or whatever, you're having the courage to go after and to move forward with the things that you want. Clarifying the cancer comes with the nine of swords energy. Yeah, this is not causing you sleepless nights anymore. You're learning to trust your intuition and to use your intuition and to move forward when it comes to dealing with the situation. And here it is, the Knight of Pentacles, you've done the work. Or it could be that you were you had the courage to move forward and go after the things that you want. And now, instead of this person, place, thing, or situation, 
not wanting to deal with you. They're willing to share their coins and know that you're the reason why they've been and going through um, uh, when it comes to everything working out for them and all the blessings that they've had. It's because you were able to sacrifice for them in order for them to, you know, and like encourage them. That's what I want to say. You were able to encourage them to do and be better. And so that's kind of how I see that. I'm going to pull from, geez Louise, I don't know what this card deck is called. It is called, hold on one second. Um, it is called the Cozy Witch Tarot. The Cozy Witch Tarot. So I'm going to pull from that. Sorry, I threw that on my floor. Uh, on, yeah, the floor. But yeah, it's called the Cozy Witch Tarot. And let's see what happens. You know, it's telling you not to get too cozy with situations and go from there. Page of Pentacles, yeah, again, Page of Pentacles is out here. This is the Knight of Pentacles. I thought it was a page. But anyway, it says Ace of Cups, okay? Do you feel that that in your heart? That's potential, dear. And so, again, potential when it comes to you. It's you creating the things that you want, not looking and seeing the potential that uh, in regards to everyone else. It says the High Priestess energy. When in doubt, your first gut feeling can always be trusted. And that is where you were five years uh into this situation and therefore when it got to being seven years into it you decided to work on you again do you feel that that potential there and feeling that in your gut that's when you said enough is enough i need to work on myself so seven eight years in order for you to get to where you're having growth and moving forward and trusting in yourself the four of cups energy which is normally reaching a plateau board it says try not to be so picky okay so you weren't picky you're just trying to have things to, um, the way that you you desire them to be. And that is having the courage and somebody supporting you no matter if they agree or not. And so you had to realize that you have to support yourself. And sometimes, you know, you got to be able to take the chances and, you know, um, kiss a couple of frogs um, in order to be able to trust in yourself and your abilities. Does that make sense? And your intuition. The Knight of Pentacles, oh, well, yep, the Knight of Pentacles is right here. It says, slow but surely, you're going places. And that's the movement that had to happen once you grew and learned to trust your intuition. And so now, Page of Pentacles learning, right? When life gives you lemons, make enchanted lemonade. And so, therefore, trusting in your intuition, not letting anything get you down, and know that you have the power to create the things that you want, but you can't harp on potential with other people. You have to see the potential in yourself and see what it is that you're capable of doing and stop pouring into everyone else's cup and pour into your own. See the beauty in yourself and realize when someone is backstabbing you or making you feel some type of way to protect your energy. And that's just what the game of life and how to play it is about. And so that is kind of how I see that. Now I'm going to pull from the archetype deck i thought this was the how to win at love deck. i keep pulling the same thing but um i'll pull from here and then i'll pull from the crystal deck remember if you want to um if you want to know what the the um, chakras are and also the four agreements i'll put the link up above so the card that comes is stalker yeah this person wants to know what you're doing now invades partners privacy has a hard time letting go of their ex sneaky behavior looking for hidden info so this person never really trusted you that's the reason why they didn't see the beauty in you or if they did see the beauty in you they wouldn't give you what it is that you wanted with somebody to support you and so therefore now they're watching you from a distance and thieves of uh the th thief of hearts there are ultimate heartbreakers uh plays there they're the ultimate heartbreaker Plays on their partner's emotions can steal your heart with little effort. And so that is what you know. But however, you're not going to harp on that anymore. You're going to move forward and not let that tarnish you for who you are. Even though it's going to be hard to trust, you have to recognize and trust your intuition and not really be so picky when it comes to moving forward. But know that at some point you have to kiss a couple of frogs in order to find that prince, if that makes sense. And so... There you have it. Now we're going to pull from the four agreements and then we'll pull from the crystal deck and then we're going to let this energy go. You guys, I um, said in my last reading that my last couple of readings that I am going to go on three times a day. Um, so far right now I have uh, um, 5 a.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time. Um, sorry, 11 a.m. 
Pacific Standard Time and um, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, and so I'm going to go on um, those times. It's not it's go not going to be live, but it's going to be videos that come on so that you can uh, we can get back into the swing of things. I've had a lot of chaotic in, uh, things going on in my life, and I had to complete a couple of things. And now I'm there. I'm right there at the finish line, close to the finish line. And I have a little time freed up for you guys. And I feel horrible for neglecting you and neglecting me at the same time because I look forward to you guys' energy. So with the four agreements, it says don't make assumptions, don't make assumptions, and be impeccable with your words. So assumptions is seeing the potential in other people and not speaking your mind and saying what you want. So it says be, your, uh, be yourself around others. So again, when somebody doesn't know who you are in the beginning and you're not speaking your mind and saying what it is that you want, you know, that's when you become afraid to uh, um, kind of step out and, and, and um, have somebody see who you are in the beginning instead of you um, seeing their potential and, you know, kind of keeping quiet and not speaking your mind when it comes to what you really like and what you really want and their hard no's and hard yeses. Now, I'm going to say why what I what what that reminds me of is on Fifty Shades of Grey if you ever watched that when Anastasia Steele was in the meeting with um I can't think of his name but um oh Mr. Grey when she was in the she was in the meeting and they were going over the contract and she's like hard no and then she's like yes I'm willing to accept that okay you know and so she set her boundaries when it came to dealing with um, what it is that she was willing to deal with, whether you go back to a person or whether you move forward with a different person or with any situations, you have to set those boundaries in, in order to be able to be you and, and, and for somebody to not necessarily accept you, but to understand that there are things that I'm willing to do and I'm not going to wait to the last minute to say, no, I don't want to do this. I'm going to set my boundaries in the beginning and no matter how I feel about the situation, I'm going to say what I want and say what I'm willing to accept. And if it's a hard no, then it's a hard no. And no is a full sentence, if that makes sense. So it says the biggest assumption that humans make is that everyone sees life the way we do. We assume that others think the way we think, feel the way we feel, judge the way we judge, and abuse the way we abuse. We are afraid to be ourselves around others because we think others will judge us, victimize us, abuse us, and blame us as we do ourselves. So a lot of the things when we see the potential in others is because we see all of their flaws. We can look at a person, see all of their flaws, and see that they will be a good person down the line, uh, line but they have to get out of these situations, uh, a thief of hearts or, you know, being um, envious or not supporting over the, the person that they've been dealing with. And so, therefore, you can't make assumptions that somebody is willing to see who you for who you are and that you'll be able to trust them if they don't trust themselves. And that's basically what it is. But that's not your problem. That's that's their problem. And this is a you thing to learn how to set the boundaries. So don't make assumptions. Say goodbye to sadness and drama. And that's what you're doing. Once you realize and that you cannot pour from an empty cup, and when you realize that you're going to always do whatever it takes to be um, make other people happy because you see the potential and you see what they're lacking when you understand that um, you have to make yourself happy and you cannot be in charge of what somebody else does not have you know and so especially if they're not willing to build with you you can work it out and work together but at some point when you reach that plateau and when you get disconnected you know being picky is a point of where this person is, a thief of hearts, because they are afraid to settle down, but it has something to do with their things that they have went through. So again, let me read this. It says, say goodbye to sadness and drama. All the sadness and drama you have lived in your life was rooted in making assumptions and talk, taking things personally. The whole world of control between humans is based on the take, take on that. Take a moment to consider this. So again, yeah, we get upset when somebody doesn't see our true potential, but did you say what it is that you wanted out of this situation? And then so be impeccable with your words. Create, sorry, I'm going to stop that. Create a beautiful dream. It says your words can create the most beautiful dream 
or your words can destroy everything around you. Impeccability of the word only creates beauty, love, and heaven on earth. So that is what you're going to do. You're going to say what it is that you want, say what it is that you mean, and move forward. Potential is not enough to move forward. Again, you have to kick, kick, kiss a couple of frogs in, under to understand, in order to understand what a thief of hearts is and understand that a lot of people's energy causes you to pull yours back and not to say and speak your mind. And so you have to get out of that situation and to say what it is that you want. Now, again, if you want to understand the four agreements, click the link above. And the crystal deck is for the chakras. Click the link above. It says the root, sacral, and solar plex chakra. It says distant healing. Yeah, you have to move yourself away from certain situations. Protection and deflection. Yeah, it says I sparkle like the universe and absorb only positive energies. And that's what you're learning to do. You know, I sparkle like the universe and only and absorb only positive energies. And so that is where you are. So let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing or a situation. I love you guys.